Russia's foreign minister has accused the West of returning to a policy of containing Russia. Sergei Lavrov also insisted if there really is any evidence against Moscow and its role in Ukraine, then it should be made public immediately. Marina Koshova was listening to Lavrov's briefing to the media. Sergei Lavrov said that the peace plan has failed because the Ukrainian government has rejected any dialogue with the opposition, resorting instead to military force. And as a result, civilians continue to die. And then he went on to brush off allegations that Russia is uh, sending heavy weaponry to anti-government fighters across the border, highlighting, in fact, Russia's invitation to international monitors to go to those checkpoints in question and see for themselves. Well, two weeks on and no one has even stepped foot there. President Putin invited European observers to Russian border checkpoints with Ukraine to observe the situation there. Well, it's been two weeks since that invitation, and U.S., British and Ukrainian diplomats have taken efforts to convince the OSCE not to accept that offer. We're hoping that such an observing mission would dispel any allegations that these checkpoints are being used to smuggle weapons across the border from Russia. Sergei Lavrov reiterated Russia's desire for a full, thorough and objective investigation into the MH17 plane crash, reminding once again that Russia made public its data regarding the crash, and now it expects its Western partners to do the same, because so far the U.S. is only citing classified intelligence data, providing zero, providing zero evidence. At the same time, as we know, the West continues to slap Russia with more sanctions, even though it's unclear what they want from Russia or what they want it to do. Because if we're talking, for example, about the alleged arms transport, then why not take up Russia's invitation to go and monitor those checkpoints in question? Now, in terms of the economic sanctions and the economic repercussions, the foreign minister said that he's confident that pretty much Russia will turn lemons into lemonade regardless, and it will not indulge into an eye for an eye scenario. We will not act tit for tat. We want to treat this situation with a clear head. Our president has already said we cannot ignore this. But getting hysterical and responding with a backlash is beneath a large country, and we do not want any hysteria. We have dignity and will proceed from that. The foreign minister also touched upon the so-called info wars, uh, saying that the Western media refused to accept or even consider, for that matter, Russia's version of events. And also he said that he's concerned with the fact that regulators in the UK are now trying to clamp down on RT's coverage of what is happening. At the end of the day, he said that what's really important is to show the full picture of what is happening in Ukraine. And Russia's main goal is to ensure peace in Ukraine. And the only way Sergei Lavrov believes that this will be achieved is through an all-inclusive dialogue.